Hey guys, okay, so this video is gonna cover three things and I'm gonna try to make it super simple and fairly short. Um, people ask me all the time, how do you get interaction on Facebook? No one's liking anything, no one's commenting on anything. Um, I can't sign distributors. The biggest thing I'm getting is I can't sign distributors, which has a lot to do with what your Facebook page looks like. And people aren't messaging me back, which again has a lot to do with what your Facebook page looks like. If they can glance at your Facebook and see that you're in some kind of MLM or you're with it works and you're messaging them to say hey do you want to like make money with me they're gonna look at your Facebook and if they have any preconceived notion about MLM or it works either one they're not even gonna message you back you may be the exact thing that they're looking for but because in their mind they already know everything by looking at your Facebook they're not even gonna give you the time of day um, same thing with if you're messaging them like, hey, do you want to do my hair growth or my detox? They look at your page and they see it works and they're like, oh, I heard about that. And they may have no idea what they're talking about. Or it may not even been our company. Like I had someone yesterday who was like, oh, no, I, I don't do Herbalife, blah, blah, blah. I was like, that's awesome. Neither do I. Like, let me tell you what I'm talking about first. Um, so you really want to make your Facebook just super positive and bright and inviting so people will message you back and, you know, do everything that they're supposed to be doing. Okay, so I want to go over a posting schedule. This is basically going to be for newer people. I don't follow this to a T anymore, but this is what I did um, when I stopped posting a bunch of it work stuff on my page. And then posting like 401, this is going to be like the next level posting because contra yeah, contrary to what I just said, you do need to post it works on your page every single day. And I'm going to kind of show you how to do that and how I get around the algorithm. And then um, people ask me all the time how I find people to message. So I just want to go through a super simple little way that I find people to message. So first thing is just your basic posting schedule. Um, if you don't know anything about the algorithm, I'm going to tell you I take algorithm classes, training, whatever you want to call it, on a weekly basis. So I am usually up to date with the algorithm. Having said that, it also changes all the time. So if so, you're doing something that is working great for you, don't worry about it. Um, and when I say great, I'm saying like you're signing more than your steps to success every single month. If you're not signing your steps to success, something that you're doing is off, and I more than likely a part of that is gonna be your posting. Um, June was a slower month for me, but I still signed eight distributors and 32 customers, I believe. Maybe 36, I don't remember, 30 something customers. Um, and a lot of it, my distributors all come from my posting. So I want to show you the way that I post, and. It's just, it's an amazing way to post. So I do it on a five day rotation. And then I just start over. So I do day one, two, three, four, five. And then I do day one, two, three, four, five. That way I'm never posting the same thing the same day of the week. So for example, day one um, is usually selfie day. And I will post a picture of me or a picture of me and my husband or a picture of me and my daughter. But my face is gonna be in the picture somewhere because you've gotta have your face on your Facebook. Um, and so day one tomorrow will be day one for me, which is Sunday. But then my next day one is going to be Friday. And then it's going to be Wednesday. So your day one, quote unquote, is always changing. Oh, back up a little bit on the algorithm. You do not want to post publicly more than one time a day. If you do, you are shooting your own algorithm in the foot, so to speak. Um, I post publicly once a day and to a list once a day, and I'll get into lists later. But publicly, like you've got to keep it short because Facebook puts a lot more weight on their stories now than they do Facebook. So if you are posting more than once a day, that's why you're noticing, oh, I can't get more than like 20 or 30 likes on my page, on my pictures, and most of those are at works distributors. Or if you're brand new and you're trying to post, you know, three, four, five, six times a day, you're like, man, I'm getting like one or two people to like on my stuff and nobody's commenting. 
okay, it's not because they don't like you. It's because nobody is seeing your stuff. You literally are like shutting your own business down by posting so much. And that's the same with live videos, a post or a live video, like whichever one you're choosing to do that day, you need to do one a day. That's it. Um, and by the way, guys, this is the same with Instagram. Like they're ran by the same people now. So day one is a selfie. Sometimes it's a positive quote. Sometimes it's something like this. Um, let's see if I can scroll down on this. I better be able to scroll down on this. There we go. Um, I just put, so blessed to be her mom. Another one that I did was words can't even express how much I love this man. Hashtag date night. Another one was what you lack in talent can be made up with desire, hustle, and giving 110% all the time. So day one is usually going to be, or is always going to be some kind of selfie. Day two is going to be something funny. Um, you do not want to share something funny. Like if you're sharing from somebody else's page, it's a huge no-no. If you're just posting a random picture you found, huge no-no. The reason being is Facebook already, like everything is coded to the original user. So let's say this really awesome meme comes up and it's like super funny and it has, I don't know, 20,000 shares on it from the original person. Every time, I'm not saying you share it, I'm saying like you even save it to your phone and then post it. It's still coded because it's an original photo. So Facebook still flags it as, okay, like this picture has been shared already we're going to automatically lower its weight. So if you, when you do something funny, you're going to want to actually type it out and you can go to my page and you can see how well this works. Like this is golden. Type it out on a colored background. You don't have to use black. I personally use black for all of my quotes. That's just something that's uniformed to my page, but you can literally do whatever color you want. Um, these are three funny ones that I've done, but you literally like, Anytime I'm scrolling and I'm interacting on somebody's page, if I see something funny, I screenshot it and then I use it later. Um, if I'm on Pinterest, if I'm on Instagram, same thing. If I see something funny, I just screenshot it and then I save it so I can use it later. Um, funny gets a lot, a lot of interaction. Day three is going to be interactive. If you are not brand new, I would not post these kind of interactives because it makes you look like an amateur. I know that sounds harsh, but that's the reality of it. If you're in network marketing and you're still posting this stuff, people automatically see it and like, dang, like she needs her interactions up. So she's going to post anything she can get for some attention. Um, having said that, if you're brand new, no shame in your game, like get your interactions up and then figure out how to do different interactive posts. So these are a few, again, you can usually just search interactive posts and you can find them or, um, in my posting chat that I have, I actually will post some in there for you guys also. Now, the way I do interact, interactive posts will be something super, super simple. Um, like for example, I was out with my daughter the other day, so I posted a picture of me and her, or no, no I didn't, I posted a picture of her um, in her swimsuit in the pool. And I was like, holy crap, it's hot out here, 97 degrees, you know, how hot is it where you live? So it's something that, People don't even click it like, oh, she's trying to get interaction. They really just think I'm interacting with them. Like I'm just wanting to know about their day. Um, I hate when people post, oh, what are you having for dinner? Because again, it just flags. Oh my gosh, I need some, like nobody's talking to me. I need someone to talk to. But if you post a picture of your dinner and you say something like, you know, I'm loving this recipe. Here's the recipe. Um, I'm looking for more chicken recipes. Like what do you have? That is something that people don't flag as being spammy because spammy can be all sorts of things. But again, if you're brand new, you know, a month, two, three months, I would say three months max and you need to start figuring out your own interactive stuff. But I would start, I would post these. And when I say three months, I'm saying three months from the time that you are really learning how to post and how to market, not three months from your start date. Cause some people start like me and don't actually start working till like six months down the road. Um, Day four, just ignore the positive quote part. Day four is going to be a caught in the adventure story or a business post. And again, this is going to be public on your page, not to a list. Um, I will straight up, I'll go to Pam Souter's page and I'll take a caught in the adventure post. This is somebody who um, 
started the business. This was a post a long time ago, by the way. This wasn't recent. So I don't know what your name is, but if you're seeing this, I didn't just post this. Um, but when it was posted in Diamond Divas, I posted it on my page. Sometimes it'll be, you know, somebody just promoted to Diamond. And then I'm going to show you a couple on my page when I go over there that are business posts that pertain to me and to my life also. So it can be a business post or a caught in the adventure post. You guys, especially if you're brand new and maybe you haven't made anything in this business. Like you're in, you've been in for a week. You haven't even sold a wrap. You haven't even got your apps in the mail. And you're like, how the heck can I post about this if it hasn't done anything for me yet? Post somebody else's story. Anytime a story is posted in Diamond Divas, you are welcome to use it. Anytime me or April or Christina or any of the leaders in this page post a story on our page, you are welcome to use it. Pam Souter, anytime she posts something on her page that is like a Cotton the Adventure post, you are welcome to use it. Um, and then day five is a call to action, it works post. It doesn't say it works, but that's what it's gonna be. Um, these are the three that I use a lot and I get a lot of interaction on them because days one, two, three, and four, I've posted nothing about it works. All I've done is posted lots of inspiring posts. So the one I love, if, especially if you're brand new, because you're trying to get host to post going, like you need to get host to post going, I promise you that is gonna change your business. Um, I have some freebies to give out. Drop an emoji if you're interested. So simple, right? Um, Another one is looking for three people to make an extra $200 to $500 from home. And then I'll usually say who wants a spot or who's interested. Like you always want to end with a question. Um, three spots open, must be willing to lose 20 plus pounds, drop an emoji. And then I send them a message about the grains. If you're new and you're just really not getting hard on host to post, I would suggest the freebie post. Now what I do with these is as soon as they're kind of done getting interaction, I'm going to go through and I'm going to delete them after I've messaged everybody. And then I'm going to replace it with some random positive quote instead. And same thing, don't post a picture, actually type it out on a colored background. Um, but that way, again, you're only posting five times a week on your page, guys, for the public. So when you're friending your people, they're not coming on your page and seeing these kind of posts every five posts. So these are all being taken down after the interacting is over and you're putting up a positive quote. The only exception is if you're just getting a ton of interaction on it, like let's say day five is over, you're now back on day one, you're supposed to be posting a selfie, but your freebie post is still like so hot and you've got dozens and dozens of people still commenting. Okay, push day one off to the next day. Like you can keep this up as long as it's getting traction. There's no point in posting just to post. Um, so that is posting 101. The other thing is your stories. Stories are going to be basically your dream board and your blog. So stories are going to be a little bit more salesy than your page. Stories are going to be way more often. I post five to 10 times a day on my stories. Um, people are nosy, guys. People should like to see what you're doing. Trust me, if the algorithm wasn't the way it is, then you could post once, a, once an hour on your page if you kept it um, interesting enough and people would go back to your page to see your stuff. The only reason we don't do that is because of the algorithm. So the stories is where it's at. Um, I got a, what do you call it? A couple PLCs for ketones with this. The color is kind of off, so it makes it look really cool, but this is just ketones and heavy whipping cream, like added to the water mixture. Let's see, what else do I have here? Okay, this is a really good one. This is a business post, although it isn't really like, it doesn't scream it works. It just says, um, before I know it, you're gonna be too big for all this. I don't wanna waste a moment of the time I have. Hashtag dream job. So people are like, oh wait, what, are you, what do you mean dream job? Like, why are you at home with your kid? Oh, let's go this way. Okay, this is one of the girls that just promoted. Again, I'm going to post about it in my stories. Um, and I love when y'all make these collages because I think they look so cool and they're perfect for stories. This is, um, I do a list system with my daughter. So just like I schedule my time, I schedule hers, except it's with pictures. So she knows she has six things on the fridge. And then when we're done with that, she goes to another six things. 
Um, and it's all posted out in pictures and my Facebook is loving that so far. So I talked about number three on her list that day was 30 minutes of quiet time. Then this is another one that this was a coffee that I had and I had a lot of people message me like, Oh, what is that? Like, but you've got to get to where you're posting on your regular page enough to where people care to go to your stories. Because when I first started posting my stories, I was only getting like 25, 30 people to watch them. Now I'm getting three, 400 people to watch them. So it really does matter what your page looks like. Then this is another business one. Woke up to $200 bonus from Facebook. Want to make money while you sleep? Text sleep to this number for more info. Guys, every time I post one of these, I get people to message me. Like text me on Facebook. Now, sometimes the people are from Instagram because anything I post on Facebook on my stories, I'm also posting on my Instagram on my stories. Um, this one was a picture of my breakfast as soon as it will load. This one was a picture of dinner, I think. I don't remember, dinner or um, lunch. This is a boomerang of me doing the greens, or not just kidding, the energy. And I conveniently covered up at works. So all I'm talking about is an energy pixie stick, and I had some people message me off of that. This is me, I was training, and I look extra busted, so yes, I filtered the junk, filtered the crap out of this junk. Um, but I was literally cleaning and on the phone training one of my distributors. This is just a fun one of my daughter who literally was kissing her own face in the mirror or in the window. Um, this is one we had an animal control person coming around our house and I am very passionate about animals and I will be the first to tell you that if you are not established and you can't commit to keep that dog until he is dead, you don't need to get a dog. There's a reason we don't have animals right now. Um, this is one that again, text this number for more info. Um, this one, I think she was getting ready for one of her classes. Yep. She was so excited. She was ready to go. This is one. Oh, never mind. That wasn't a, that's one I posted today about something else. So those are your stories. Super, super simple, right? Um, Okay, so that's posting 101. That's like the basics. You want to get on that five-day rotation, again, especially if you are new um, and you just don't know what to post, get on a five-day rotation, you're good to go. Now, posting 301, 401, whatever you want to call it, this I feel like is really essential to you consistently signing distributors, um, especially if you don't have a very big market and you're bringing new people in. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is set up a friends list. Go on the side, click friends list, create list. Then you can type in everyone you want. And I just call this list potentials, all I call it. Um, every single time you talk to somebody that is interested at all, I don't care if they're interested and they stop talking to you. I don't care if they're interested until they see the price. I don't care if they're interested and then you tell them, that it's an MLM and they're like, oh no, no, I don't want an MLM. They just don't have enough information. So that's fine. Say, okay, add them to that potential list because every single day, and I'm not exaggerating when I tell you this, every single day I post a business post or a cotton the adventure post to a potentials list. So I'm going to show you a couple that I've posted and the way to post to a potentials list is when you put up a post, Right over here on the right hand side, it's going to either say friends or public. Okay, you can change it to whatever you want, but that's what it usually says, friends or public. So then you're just gonna scroll down and you're gonna click on potential. So APDT happens to be the list I posted to. Um, click on potentials and then you'll type out whatever you want and you'll click post and it's going to type it, or it's gonna do it to the potentials. Now my stories, I post from my phone. I don't know why it's set to friends on here. My story though, I always post publicly. I always post publicly on my page also, by the way. Guys, it doesn't matter if your page is public or private. If someone wants to see it, they can see it just by typing in a URL at the end of your, your web name. So don't overthink that. I don't tag myself or I don't um, check into anything. If I am at the pool with my kid, I usually post afterwards. Like I, you be smart about it. There are crazy people out there, but if they really wanted to creep on you, they would creep on you regardless if you're a public or private. And public gives you a lot more exposure. So this is one that I posted today. Help me welcome my newest 
our newest diamond, Lisa, um, I don't know her last name, but it was posted in Divas. Anything posted in Divas, I'm going to take it and put it on my page. One time a day, I'm going to post these. Um, let's see. Okay, this is one that I saw on Jennifer McCollum's page yesterday. So I just posted a picture of the money and the tickets. This is her picture. And I personalized it, but then I used her, her post. I said, I used to always make excuses. I didn't have time, yet I was always broke. I was the one whining because how can I start this if I'm broke? I don't have $99. Sounds like a scam. Dumb, right? Well, that was me until I met someone like this. Caught in the adventure is my friend Jennifer. I love her because she's so blunt. Here's Jennifer. And then I use her post because these are her words. Um, and that's a caught in the adventure post. Another one. Okay, this is one I did myself. So when you get those $100 bonuses, when you get the $100 shopping spree, when you get $25 wrap cash, when you sign a loyal customer, you're basically going to be making about $25 off of them when everything is said and done. That's the average. Um, it won't be a one-time payment, but I'm talking about over the course of their three months. And again, most customers go for more than three months if you follow up with them. Boom. $400 from Facebook. Hashtag dream job. I got $400 in fast starts yesterday. If you got $100 in fast starts, boom, $100 from Facebook, hashtag dream job. People are going to notice all these people liked it. A lot of them also messaged me because hashtag we're a nosy generation. So you can do that with any amount of money. This was a funny one. Like I said, I don't completely do the uh, five day rule. This is another one I posted the day before yesterday, just to my potentials list. Sometimes when I do a caught in the adventure post, or yeah, sometimes when it's time for one of those, I will do a before and after or a um, product post also. Every day I get to help people do this, before and after. This is an approved picture. I purposely crop out. It works. Because again, that's just what I personally do. I don't have those on my page. Um, that was a positive one. Okay, caught in the adventure post. This was posted directly to my potential list. A lot of people were interested in it also. Um, uh, that girl tagged me and I didn't get it off my page. Okay, this is one that a lot of people like. You're not a snack if everyone has a bite, you're a free sample. This was one um, that could have easily been a, or this was one that was my Cotton the Adventure post for day, day four, but obviously again, do business posts too, not just caught in the adventure. So finished up a $500 bonus from Facebook this weekend. Now having a picnic in the grass with my mini me. Couldn't love my job anymore. Okay. A lot of people responded to that guys. Um, this is one that was to a list. If you've had a baby, you may have looked in the mirror and been like, Oh, well, blah, blah, blah. Boom. And this one does say it works on it. I think. Yeah. Duh. Big old letters right there. Um, so I'm not saying I always hide the, it works, but if it looks a little bit more spammy, I hide it. Caught in the adventure post. That one I did publicly. So every single day you want to post a business post or a cotton adventure post or a product post, but you want to do it directly to your friends list. Only once a week do I post one of those posts publicly. Um, but by consistently sharing your story and other people's stories, that's how you're consistently signing distributors. Until I started posting this way, guys, I was lucky to get my three a month. And even then, that was a stretch. There were lots of months I only had one or two. Um, by the way, all of my current, all of my loyal customers also go onto that potentials list so they consistently see before and afters and business posts. Um, and all of my distributors are also on that list because I want them to see what I'm posting. I also want my brand new distributors who don't really know what they're doing yet to keep the momentum by keeping all those inspiring stories in front of them. Then the last thing I wanted to do, um, I think, I don't know how long this video has gone. I hope it hasn't gone too long. Um, how do you message people? Who do you message? Okay, so something that is very popular is messaging people that like your post. I think that's like the most popular. I personally do not do this unless it is a random, like a cotton the adventure post or something. And you know, I want to message those. The reason I don't do this though is because I do so many host to posts. I do not have time to do cold messaging a lot. So I personally am very picky with who I message. But 
if you haven't gotten host to post going strong yet, this is a great way to start is by messaging people that like and comment on your stuff. Another thing that I do, guys, you should be messaging birthdays every single day. I suck at this so bad. I wish I didn't, but I do. Um, I just am really bad about remembering to actually message people when it's their birthday. What I'm not bad at is using birthdays as a reason to go message people, though. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Today's the 30th. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the 25th. Um, I also am always right around 5,000 friends. I think I have like 4,996 today. So I also use this to delete people. But unless you're close to 5,000, don't even worry about deleting people. Because you never know who's going to come around. Okay. Birthdays. Can I go back? Okay. I really don't know how to do this on the computer. I do all of my stuff on a phone. Um, somewhere in here, you can go to past birthdays, I think. Oh, here's birthdays. Let's see if that works. Okay, I guess you can on the side. So I would click this, and it says that there are 11 people. I would message those 11 people. I'm just going to give you an example. I already did this, actually. So, oh, wait, no, I didn't. Just kidding. Um, so I would just click on them, click message. Now, if I've already messaged them about the business, I'm going to message them about the product. If I've already messaged them about the product, I'm going to message them about the business. If I've messaged them about both, literally, I'm going to say, hey, girl, question. When they respond back to me, I'm going to give them a host to post, um, ask them if they want to host a post. Literally, it's that simple. The third way that I message, um, and I love doing it this way, is where are y'all in Messenger? Again, I don't know if I can do this from a computer because I do it from a phone, but I go down my alphabet. So I used to, when I cold messaged all the time, like every day would be a different letter. When I started doing so much host to post, I don't do it like that anymore because, again, I don't go through 5,000. Okay, I have no idea where it is on here. But on your phone, you can find people in alphabetical order. If you don't know how to do that, just check with your upline. I'm sure they can tell you. Um, so it's, that's a really great idea is to do people alphabetic order. Again, especially if you're new and you don't have a strong host to post going yet. When I say strong guys, like I've got anywhere from 25 to 75 people a day in my inbox, like this girl is right now, asking me information on the cleanse or to join my business, which is awesome. So those are all cold messages, but they're like reverse cold messaging. So I'm not the one sending them. Now this is, this last one is how I personally message because I'm still deleting and adding people every single day. You're not going to build a business without consistently out with the old and with the new. And I want to make sure I message all of those people that come into my organization so I can get them into my business. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going, again, no idea how to do this on a dang computer. Let's see if I can figure this out. You're going to go to your activity log, which I don't even know where the heck that would be at over here. Hold on one second. Ooh, activity log. On activity log, you are going to click on the left-hand side, I guess. On the phone, it's a little bit different. Left-hand side, somewhere, it's going to say added friends. Nope, come on. Come on. Oh, wait. Somewhere, it's going to tell you added friends. I don't have any idea where it would be over here. Oh, okay. Added friends. There we go. Then I can scroll down. Oh, nope. Just kidding. Can't scroll down there. This is much easier on the, computer, on the phone, guys. Oh, I can scroll down there. If I was smart, I would have just clicked the down arrow. So I can scroll down, and today's the 30th, so I'm going to go back to the 15th. I message them two weeks after they get on my page. So I'll go back to the 15th. I'm not going to do it because it takes time. Um, and then I'm going to message every one of those people that added me on the 15th. Every one of those people are going to get asked about the business. The only exception is if I see that they're already in a business, and then I'm going to ask them to host a post for me. Um, 
Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You, I might ask them about the products too, actually. It just all depends on what business they're in. I will tell you, if I come to them and they're in Beachbody, Thrive, Amway, not Amway, Arbonne, um, any of the companies that are basically just like ours, except, you know, not as good because we're us, um, I'm going to delete them because those people usually don't have an open mind for switching to a better business plan because they're kind of stuck in theirs. So the other thing is a lot of those companies will teach them to go post our, to go poach it works distributors. Like some of these companies legitimately have trainings on how to get it works people to join their team because of the way that we train our people. They know if they can get one of our mass and rollers in there, like it's super good for their business. So I don't want them poaching my friends list or poaching my team. So I'm deleting them ASAP. I'm not messaging them. Just my personal opinion. Um, Okay, so that's my message, guys. Oh my gosh, I just hope that this helped you guys. I've been getting tons of questions from you guys, but it's end of the month and it's just like extra crazy, so I haven't stopped to answer all of them. Most of this has been on posting though, so yeah. Any questions, definitely drop them below, but I definitely hope that that helps y'all and I'm gonna go ahead and stop this recording and then get it posted in the chat.